Merry Christmas YouTube. I'm in 1867 and doesn't it look festive? It looks like a perfect Christmas. We've got snow falling from the skies, a faint fall of snow on the doorsteps and on the roads. I've got carols in my ears and everything is just perfect. Now, did you realize that we can thank the Victorians for our Christmas? Most of what we do at Christmas time is due to the Victorians. In the early Victorian period, there was a series of really harsh, cold winters. And when Dickens wrote his story, A Christmas Carol, in 1843, he was drawing on the experiences that he had earlier of snow-filled Christmases. And when the story was released, 1843, it was an immediate hit. People loved it. They loved the imagery and the storyline and the overall ethos of supporting people at Christmas. And so we've got a lot to thank Charles Dickens for, for the idea of snow on Christmas morning, or falling snow, snowmen, and snowball fights, because all these things don't often happen now at Christmas, but we still link them at Christmas. So, thank you Charles Dickens for your story, A Christmas Carol, but it wasn't just Charles Dickens we have to thank because many other of our Christmas celebrations date back to Victorian times. For example, do you pull Christmas crackers at the Christmas table? Well, that was due to an invention in Victorian times. One entrepreneur in Victorian times was sitting by the fire when the fire began to spark and crackle and he thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could put that spark and crackle inside some sort of cracker device? And so he invented the exploding cracker that opened when you pulled it. Not only that, one important feature of Christmas is the Christmas tree. Now the Christmas tree originates from Germanic countries and it has been attributed to Prince Albert but actually people did have Christmas trees before Prince Albert and Queen Victoria however it was Prince Albert who encouraged Queen Victoria to place a Christmas tree in their home and when pictures were released in the press of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert decorating their tree then it became a hit and then it spread throughout the world. At Victorian times, people would often eat a goose for Christmas lunch, but now we tend to have turkeys instead. Do you send your friends Christmas cards? Well, we've got Henry Cole to thank for that, another Victorian. He commissioned an artist to paint a picture for him which he sent to all his friends of his family and him celebrating Christmas and his friends just loved it so the following year they did pictures that they sent to their friends and those picture cards developed into Christmas cards ever heard of Santa? <laughs> you'll say of course I have well, before the Christmas period, I know that in Great Britain, Santa was not that popular. It was Father Christmas. Father Christmas was a bright, jolly soul who wore a green cape. However, Father Christmas became more popular in Victorian times. So we can thank the Victorians as well for our image of Father Christmas, who is now Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, or 
as the Dutch might say, Sinterklaas, which translated to Santa Claus. So many of the things that we do now, especially at Christmas time, can be attributed to the Victorians. So when you sit down to a Christmas lunch and you pull your crackers and you eat your turkey or perhaps even a goose and you look at all the decorations along your mantelpiece, tinsel and holly and ivy and the Christmas trees in the corner and the trees are hanging from strings on the ceiling or blue tacked against the wall, just think that many of those date back to Victorian times. Well, I can't stand here talking to you all day. I've got work to do. Look, there's poo in the street and I need to pick that up and get some money. So I'll go and pick up my poo, even though it is the holiday season, and I'll let you enjoy 1867 for this month and maybe a bit longer and you can get some special Christmas badges. Come and visit the game. You will love it. Oh, by the way, before I go, Merry Christmas, YouTube. Subscribe. Right, let's get that poo. <laughs> There's one. Oh, I missed it. I missed that. Oh, no. I missed this one over here. Got it. There it is. And now, can I get that one? No, I can't. I'm a bit too high. Let's try standing on the road instead. No! <laughs> I'm determined I'm going to get it regardless. Let's try another direction. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Picking up boo has never been so much fun. Oh, are you still watching me? <laughs> Haven't you gone yet? I thought you'd go. Come on, there's more interesting things to do than watch me pick up poo. <laughs> oh dear.